Overlord was crazy. It's also catching the Veterans Day release. When I first saw the trailer, it looked like ass, but I ended up having fun in the theater. This is going to be on the goriest list of the year for sure. I heard watching it in IMAX is completely worth it. I didn't because the IMAX theater near me is remodeling, but I believe the claim. Overlord takes place on D-Day where a paratrooper squad is sent to destroy a German radio tower in an old church. Their plane gets shot down, five of them survive, and we embark on this journey of five true American heroes and a small town girl named Chloe who single-handedly take down the Nazis by being a bunch of Nazis. This film straight up pulls an inglorious bastard on us when Chloe is hiding the soldiers in an attic. Our main character boy sneaked into this German facility and found out they're secretly marinating humans for marinara sauce so they can inject it into the dead and turn them into zombies. Everything leads up to when the squad burst in the church guns ablazing before they turn this into an incredible hulk by having the Charlie Hunnam looking guy inject the marinara sauce himself. In the end, they blow up the tower and everyone's happy. No, this is not a Cloverfield movie. Papa is not in the house. I think this movie is extremely subjective, like we never see the full scale of the battle or the war. We just see whatever the squad and the main character sees. I think you either like it or you don't. I liked it, it makes the story world so small and claustrophobic and focused. But the biggest thing about Overlord is the subliminal message that only Christians will understand. I for one don't, but there's something more than just Nazi zombies going on here. Say whatever you want, you know it's not a coincidence that this movie takes place in a church. Like there's no way in hell they wrote it by chance. The church is seen as a symbol of spiritual change or event that takes place. In the Eucharist, the bread and wine are symbolic of the body and shed blood of Jesus. So the marinara sauce is probably the wine? And the red serum is Jesus' blood? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That's definitely some Christian undertone that I don't understand. There's a beheaded woman's head sitting on the counter still fucking talking. The fact that Waffner has a line saying, I am God with that jello ass looking face and later he straight up baptized the main character. Boy I ain't never going to church, ever. So let me pass the question off to you Philly D style. What do you think of all this? If you are religious and you see something that I didn't definitely tell me in the comments, I think it definitely has to do with the idea of reborn. I think. I don't really know. Tell me what you think of the movie and the video. Like and share this video with your grandparents and everyone you know. With that being said, my name is Philip DeFranco. you just been filled and I love your face and I'll see you tomorrow. Except, no, I probably ain't gonna be here tomorrow.